What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the, as the Republic of Venice. And in this episode, um, things are going really well. Because we've destroyed the Ottoman Empire, they are gone. We have established an alliance with Persia and they think very highly of us. We are very friendly, positive 206. Um, actually, we can be friendly with Dagestan. Let's try and... They'd want indefinite military access. You know what? That's just fine. Because they're, they, they are, the, the Italian states is their protectorate, who are also our allies. Although they're allied with Persia. Yeah. I think that might upset our alliance. Oh, no. Plus 206. Okay. But more trade, more better. We're up to 35,000. Um, we've still got a lot of issues around exporting from our ports in the Mediterranean, but I think we are still in a position where the the priority has to be um, the development of our forces on land. Because the Persian threat has not gone away. They are still here in significant number. Prague is well defended with reinforcements. Breslau is well defended, with no reinforcements, but a better army inside. We're at war with Prussia, we're at war with Poland, so more things can start to come at us from this direction. But, for the time being, things are actually okay. We're starting to establish another army to face off against Ayasi. That will give us a frontier with um, Russia, which we aren't super keen on i would like to raise another force to jump in and attack crimea while we've got it cut them off from their trade uh, and secure another piece of russian territory for the time being we've raided their ports they can't do anything to stop us we could attack those fifth rates but right now i just want to hit end turn and see what happens yep sending in our agents to begin catholicizing these parts of the world that we've just captured it's very good that we've got that alliance with persia i was prepared to give away so much in technology to achieve it it's only a matter of time before prussia declares war on us as well and then we're in another giant conflagration in central europe however with quicklime we are able to do significantly more damage But we must continue to grow and develop our armed forces. And probably will really attack through the Caucasus and start to invade Russian territory in the rear. Yes, and we must not be under any illusion that the Persians are very much a possible, um, possible adversary in future. Historically, they've always been very aggressive. Well, in my Empire Total War campaigns, I'm not commenting on reality. Although, let's just say that that area of the world is not very popular at the moment. I mean, I might... You know, I mean, we're at peace with Spain. I, I mean, I may just kind of drop a few conscripts to protect it. But the main focus is still our commercial development so we're at 32,000 we're at the stage now where I need to start dropping global trading companies but only one only one a ten okay you don't need to worry about most of these Venus buildings you could afford to lose two units of wine tree to allow these reinforcements to properly be incorporated Maybe lose one dragoon. So this would be a very good army to advance um, into Russian territory. So I'm going to build a church school here because we are going to need lots of religious agents to turn people into Catholicism because this is not a Catholic part of the world. This agent can start to convert to Blissey because we've got a church school here to start chipping away at everything. Roads are good. Iron workshop is good. Upgrade. Farms. Okay, 
We don't necessarily need military production. You need howitzers, though. That's a fair comment. Let's get two of those. Two of our infantry units. Well, actually, I suppose I could take two infantry units plus one pikemen out. And replace you with two howitzers plus heavy cavalry. You men can start to form a future garrison. Let's upgrade... Uh, let's not go too... Well, let's upgrade... Try to upgrade industry as much as is possible. And obviously, um, continue your expansion. Four units. You have recruited a unit somewhere that's on their way. Oh, it's coming all the way from <laughs> Central Europe. Although our road network's pretty good, so they'll get there in three turns. Okay, Istanbul. Let's recruit two units of Marines. Cavalry unit and an artillery unit. Something like that. I think this could be the core of an army to snatch. Crimea. Let's raid it again, just to make sure that they can't use it. They have abandoned it. We could capture it. And it's a military governor's building, so we could actually recruit a good amount of stuff here. Ronti. The main thing is going to be Tbilisi. Gonna be very, they're very unhappy with us. And they're going to be unhappy with us for a while. Although, let's start recruiting Dragoons. To form an appropriate garrison Ronti. unit. You're pushing up to Cherkask. So we've got good relations with Dagestan. That's good. Cherkask is ripe for, the t ripe for the taking, but it's not super good. I think while we've not got to worry about a major conflict in Europe, we're not going to go max recruiting of our of more troops. Take this opportunity to upgrade our economic baseline. I mean, Spain's going to attack someone somewhere because they're moving troops into that port in North Africa and they're not doing it for a jolly. Okay, here we go. Poland's starting to make themselves known. So we're probably going to have to engage them. Not very squeaky chair. It'd be great if Sweden could do a bit more against Russia rather than the job they're doing right now. Oh no, to be fair, I think they have got St. Petersburg actually, which is really useful. Yeah, I think I'm yeah, but our next focus has to be destroying Russia. If we destroy Russia, we have an entirely protected flank to grow and develop the economy of and not require a lot of troops to protect it. I'm happy with the Italian states running their agents around everywhere. Ultimately, I might keep... Siphoning technology towards the Americans because I think it would be fun to play against a late game America that owns the continent. But to do that, missionary in Rumelia. Okay, so you are on your way up to Ayasi. Let's get you over to Istanbul, through Istanbul, then over to. Um, although, to be fair, you could go the long way around. You'll proselytize on your way. A lot of cavalry, a lot of line infantry, skirmishes. Our army's good enough to deal with that, I'm pretty sure. Keep the road upgrades going. Okay, let's upgrade another. Jeez, that's a cheap port upgrade. With Venice to a global trading company. Okay, these aren't necessarily the best <laughs> units to recruit. I mean, they can't advance through without attacking us. Without us being in a position to intercept, so... 
think I might let them do that. Just hold on the defensive. Thirteen thousand. Again, we're gonna we're rationing our port upgrades. Are you guys happy? Oh, oh, yeah. Because then I'd like to take you and go north. Start to take take the war to the Russians in the north. Our frontier is a bit unprotected. But we do have reasonable production capabilities. You are able to export all of your cotton, so let's boost production. And I think we could do the same here. Damascus is a good Catholic region. Okay, right. Yeah, you need your howard, says but you're not going to get them for a couple of turns. I think focus has to be... If I can upgrade you... Get my rake... Push out as well. I can get troops over here to support the attack into Crimea. So two infantry and a cavalry unit, plus two infantry, plus an artillery unit, plus two... Probably do with regular infantry, I guess. Run them over here, go on board, land in Crimea. Bulgaria can keep churning out Three turns of conscripts to support Añejo Bruno. Then the last 1,000. Let's upgrade a religious building in Jerusalem. We're about to get the last of our religious unhappiness. You've still got a bit, but you're on your way. Okay, Power Loom is on the way. That will be a, a bunch of other additional industrial buildings we could research upgrades for. Oh, I didn't give the, uh, the Americans any technologies either. There we go. Allies, allies are going to have to call on them. They both joined us. That's superb. They're going to raid us. They're going to attack us. But we have oodles and oodles of support. So let's make sure that artillery is the last thing we get. Because we don't need it. We want our best infantry first. Something like that. Uh, yeah, let's do it. You've got artillery. You can make a breach, and then once you do, we'll obliterate you. Let's do it. This is exactly the reason why we have that reinforcing army sat right outside Prague. They have heavy horse artillery, so they're likely to make two breaches. So our position on the walls at the front we're going to want to try and put our most disposable units up there because they're going to take a lot of damage. But they'll they'll make their breach, and then that's when we will be able to form our killing zones. Okay, come on, let's get cracking. I may end up upgrading Prague's forts. Generally, level one forts are kind of my favourite, but level twos are not terrible either they have their advantage they have their positives and negatives yes critical critical deployable defenses so if they come the main force is coming in from over there so let's deploy infantry 
here. Ultimately, once they start knocking down sections of the wall, that will be really good for us. Okay, right. So we're not going to try... We're not going to have too many units kind of in the middle. But these are really important because they allow us to place... I mean, you can place stakes with fusiliers, but they run outside the walls and it's all... It's just a bit chaotic. A lot of cavalry, which isn't ideal. It's useful because you can sally out and snipe enemy artillery positions. And they can be quite good at blocking. Um, the only way to get cavalry on the wall is to deploy them up there. It's a really bad idea. And once that, if they, if you accidentally deploy them up there, and you start the game, I don't think you can get them back. Okay, so have we got any more infantry? Yes, I do. So I've not fully garrisoned the walls, but it's a pretty good approximate. The gunners, I broadly want to keep one here, although you're a bugged unit, that's quite useful. Well, I'll probably want to push the up. howitzers a bit further back. It's moments like this you kind of wish you could have an infantry general because they're a lot more useful. So something like this, got a unit of line infantry is back up. Something like this, I suppose. Yeah, there are troops coming in from every direction. Okay, let's... So my howitzers are engaging their artillery. That's where they appear to be making their first breach, which is good for us. Those deployments can be a bit, you know, can be a bit tight. You don't want to sit anyone in the buildings because they get um, engaged pretty quickly. But I think the best thing to do is probably going to be something like. sort of accept the carnage. Because yes, they, they will make their breach. With that artillery, they are getting in. But because they've got lots of cavalry, what well, I mean we want them to get in, really? So my howitzers to try and knock out as much of their elite infantry as we can get. They've got no one to shoot at. It's usually best to turn fire at well off, because otherwise they sit there and kind of get stuck. Actually, be trying to hit my hit my artillery would be very bad for them. The trouble is the AI doesn't really know what to do until they've got their breach. Like right now, these are going to be very vulnerable to my howitzers. So who's ratatatatting? Here you go. Let's maybe make you guys take position over the wall here. Artillery is in position. Let's 
two misfires. That's upsetting. Third misfire, fourth misfire. That's more like it. Let's clear them out. So we're engaging them as they are pushing. Okay, now they've started to engage the... Um, re-engage the wall. So you men are going to wander in front of the conscripts and they're going to put you down. There you go, now they're in range. They've, they've suddenly gone... <gasps> Move my marines over to this section. See, are they hitting us or is that just misfires? They haven't got howitzers, so that must just be a snafu. The infantry guards have made a position. Okay, right. So what we need to do... Infantry out of the way. 12 pound a foot. Engage the base of the wall. We need to make a breach because right now they're going to start... When they start scaling the walls, that's where it gets not dicey, but just not preferable. We want them to go for a breach. You're not going to shoot because now there's men up on the walls to shoot at. That sucks. Be shooting at their cavalry because their cavalry will die on our stakes for free. They can, if we can make a breach, so they'll pour through here. The cavalry will die on all of these stakes without us needing to expend a single round of ammunition. You could try and shoot, but you'll just destroy the cover in front of you. But I think we need to do it. Destroy the armory. I think it's a worthwhile trade. So you guys want to engage, but you can't. Oh, I hear pew pew. That's from the Swiss mountain. Yeah, you guys. Prussian, Royal Prussian Cuirassier Guards. Let's move the Grenadier Guards across because they're going to need to be involved. We've scaled the walls here. Nobody's protecting the, the wall, but no one's throwing any stakes up here, so that's fine. Get him, Marines. Grenadier guards. That's the grenadiers dealt with.
I just need to start firing round shot, I guess. Destroyed a couple of their guns. It's not bad. Okay, there we go. Grand is get back over the gate. Effectively, we need to we need to make that bridge. We need to make the bridge, then we can clobber it with quick lime and kill all the artillery and kill all the um, cavalry and just all the really good stuff. So I'm going to speed up time now because what's going on here just doesn't really work. Especially if what the enemy's bringing in are more. Um, <laughs> it's more cavalry units. In theory, that's good for us because it means they can't. They're even less likely to attack. But I think that for us, okay, right. I didn't do it in time to save the save the um, conscripts. Okay, here we go. Here come the cavalry. So we want one howitzer unit. Just keep dropping quick climb on the breach. Yeah, here they come. They can't resist. I like iron filings. The conscripts can just stay over the gate, engaging whomever they choose. They're so furious, they want to get going. You guys can mostly just don't, sh don't shoot. Just let my, let my artillery and my stakes do it. Oh, they've gone into diamond. Ooh, they're going to maximise their penetrating power. Oh no, they've realised that's a bad idea. Lost the the the, um, the HQ. Well, that's fine. Didn't really want it anyway. So much cavalry on the field. And they're kind of running around, going, "Oh, let us in. We want to go in." There's some infantry, Prussian fusiliers. That's where the reinforcements are coming in. So they're going to be quite tired by the time they get here. Another cavalry charge. They dip their lances, like they're going to get a successful charge off. I mean, they get a bit of an angle there. Don't even give them a volley. Make sure the howitzer here is dropping shots short of the breach to then so it clouds in the middle. There we go, that's where I wanted you to be. No, they've done it again. They can't work it out. Okay, you guys, this unit needs to go after 3rd Regiment of Line Infantry. They want to charge, but they keep breaking off. There's the general. Is he going to die a heroic death charging a cavalry defence? Nope, he's wheeled right. Oh, you're lucky your coward has saved you, sir. What about the 6th Horse Guard Guard Corps? Yeah, 
they're just the two of you can just stop firing there's no point keeping you all shooting made it, face their pointing sabers. Fancy trying it again, old chap? I don't think they do. Because here comes, so now the, the actual infantry mass is coming in. which, for the most part, we can now retarget our quick climbing howitzers against those targets. Because otherwise... Well, we're not facing an immediate threat, so that's just fine. Starting to make a second breach. Which, again, is, isn't, the second breach isn't the end of the world, because this is part of the reason why we've got these States kind of positioned everywhere. Question is, how long are you willing to take to do it? Not that we're that bothered about killing their um, Lambert militia. May as well, may as well shoot at something. this point now kill another oh it's a horse guard artillery team rather than their gun but let's just use our howitzers to shoot at them because we've not got any viable targets I mean we may do soon We are focusing on this. We are trying to kill our artillery in the fall, and it is working. Okay, actually, I might, I might have to engage the mountain troop with my howitzers rather than these delicious fusiliers. Because as it stands, they are. Pecking away at us in a way that we don't necessarily want them to do. And if the AI is just going to kind of run around and not really do much, then that's okay. Okay, the horse artillery team is bugged, so the only thing that's shooting is the mountain troop. Yes, yeah, so we definitely want to try and... Do some stuff against that. They have artillery over here that's moving up. Ooh, mortar battery. Okay. Suicide a cavalry unit to go mop up. We can get their artillery and potentially another unit of mounted troop. If we are let's get them out of the out of the um out of the fort to the back. get them because mortars they could do some damage okay, I think we're at a stage now where we have to start suiciding some of our smaller units because it's now it's quiet to get some better ones we haven't killed any guns yet. We, we seem to have paralysed the AI. How can have artillery over here? 
Okay, we need to go deal with those as well. We don't want to kill them, we want to rout them so we can go after the um, mounted troop over here. responsible for through potentially creating some extra breaches we have to worry about. So let's just quickly mop these guys up. Okay, infantry's coming in next. Run away. Sorry, 90th Regiment. I'm sure you did a fantastic job. But we don't need you anymore. So this is what cavalry is useful for and sit in for in um Oh can we have to kill the horse artillery before the Grenadier guards come in? Come on, they're wavering. I think we can just survive long enough to Only two of them is enough to garrison a Get them. Good. Okay. Run, 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 run. Excellent. So you, you can't um, retreat an infantry unit unilaterally. Okay, their artillery has stopped firing now, so... Quick climb, ahoy! And we have multiple breaches. They're not going to be a problem. <laughs> what are you stood down there for? Do they survive when they dropped? Lancer guards, Grenadier guards, Grenadier guards. You try to get the cavalry inside because that's what their cavalry is trying to kill, trying to do. They've also smashed the gate open, or well, they've opened the gates are open because our cavalry want to get in there. Nah, either way, not a problem. Only one gun firing here. So you always, you guys are a bit exposed from the rear. Oh, bad luck, boys. Get some good shots into the Lance of Guards. Infantry unit may well get completely destroyed, but I need to get more troops in. Yeah, 
here comes the unit of Grand Air Guards. That's right, form your diamond. I mean, if you chase them to the edge of the map, you're just delaying your ability to use those troops as well. You scale the wall, that's a bit trickier. Not impossible. Pan infantry, line infantry, they're pushing in now. Artillery's quiet, so they're useless. They're holding infantry back. Oh no! Not my... Not my, in, not my infantry! This is the reason why you need to push units out to uh, make them break. Because you, at some point, you just need you just need new ones. You can't afford to wait. So you're advancing. I don't want to do that. Our infantry's coming in from a good direction. be winning slightly but for the most part we're going to do okay okay killed about 50 grenadiers killed about 90 more fusiliers. Grenadiers are very good, but they, you just don't get a lot of them. When they're committed on their own like this, and they're all up on the wall, it's a it becomes a hundred percent attrition. They have no support, so they can be quite easy to grind down and push back. You're both going to be committed to get this full unit up on the wall and then get two fresh ones. To be honest, that could be a reasonable way to use you actually, is to set you up like here. My line infantry form up on the wall behind you properly and provide extra gunnery support against these units coming in. It looks like they don't want to get off the wall fast enough.
suppression piece of it is in the superior line. I mean, yeah, they'll sweep my guys away in no trouble, but that's kind of what I want. You guys are going to advance on the enemy. Engage them with musketry. All have a valiant death. I mean, you guys just are stuck up here now, which sucks. Get rid of some of these units that are here. You can't charge, so you're just gonna run around down here and get shot at. I mean, these guys can't, um, they are unable to scale the walls, they can't, they just can't do it. So, here we go. Prussian fusiliers are coming in to charge. Because the fusiliers, fusiliers are not very good at uh, not very good at melee combat. You're only one, only one gun is working for you. That's that sucks. You've still got a full battery. Excellent. You are firing down into the fusiliers. That's okay. Although, like I said, I'm not bothered about these guys sticking around. You men, get the hell out of here. Okay, now some of their line is actually advancing. Maybe things can happen now, because they are coming in numbers. Let's get one unit to focus on the breach. This unit with their ineffective <laughs> their ineffective abilities can just, uh, ineffective guns, just keep engaging as usual. You men about base. Just the one gun's working for you guys as well. charge up here and attack these guys, that would be super. As long as the 56th is reloading.
Use those dummy melee combat, but that'll do. Advance. There we go. Problem solved. Engineers, and they're all falling back again. So this is right. Okay, let's just crank the speed up because this is just getting silly. Because they are, they've so they've assaulted. Hey, they've actually given my guys a way down. That's very nice of them. Okay, don't chase them. Is anyone else actually attacking? Yeah. Okay, right. It's just these... Just these Grenadier Guards are actually doing anything. Ah, mercenaries. They're useful. But yes, the AI does not really know how to attack forts. So as long as you've got the numbers to respond to any emergencies, you're probably going to be fine. Like in these, this case, they might capture this section of the wall, they might capture the gate. But it's not going to help them because they're in exactly the same position. Their cavalry won't be able to go through this gap perfectly and avoid all the stakes. There we go. Another one of our infantry units is routed, so we can get a new one. Fresh one with more ammunition. Yeah, as long as you've got howitzers to just keep doing damage to the enemy, then you're going to be fine. Because, look, how many troops do they have? And the answer is loads. How many troops do we have? Granted, we still had loads, but they also had plenty of the cavalry's coming in. So you can't put the cavalry stakes too close to the wall, otherwise they do jump over them. I've seen it happen. Bodyguard has fallen. His, his entire staff have killed themselves in solidarity. Oh no, except for one. <laughs> his horse died. He just fell straight down. Exactly the same pose. Here comes the fourth light horse. something worth charging. Oh, the cat's shot blew a bunch of horses to pieces. There we go. So it feels like they are starting to they are now starting to push back in, but they've waited way too long to do it. But look, these guys running in, they've got eight minutes. That is not enough. Quickline over there. Is that too close? Yes, it is. You can attack them. They'll hit them as they come around the corner. More infantry. I always like putting them on the walls, and I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. They're, they're pulling back. 
yeah, I think I'm going to play this on compressed speed because we've spent plenty of time on this for now. I don't think we're going to see any change in the next six minutes. So let's watch these guys get obliterated and put, as they advance in. So who's this now? Seven foot guards. I suppose actually in this case the line of foot guards might do okay because we're looking the other direction but we do have canister shot covering here as well. Are you going to actually push or are you just going to scamper around being naughty? These grenadiers have no ammunition so that's perfect for the engineers to run up and give them something to do. Other than that, Russians have messed up big time. The Prussians are not the Russians, although the statement's still true. Yeah, just, just smash them. So my guys are winded, their engineers are tired, so we've already got more. We already outnumber them, we've killed enough of them that they're just not able to generate enough of a bridgehead. They're trying to create openings, which is commendable, but they've got in their heads, they want to attack that corner. They want to come up here. They've just decided that's what they want to do. It's not going to work. Certainly not in the next minute and 50 seconds. Okay, you may as well about face, because there's no threat coming from the other direction. <laughs> They've already run. Dear, oh dear. You gonna charge in now? We're just gonna run around. Like a little wimpy, kitty baby whiners? Nope, they are just going to run out the clock. A bit late to advance now. Heroic victory. So we've done a lot of damage to their army. Jesus, look at that. They had nearly 11,000 troops and the count is losing 8,600. Grenade guards. Deployed, 188, lost, 98. So they've lost about half the number, killed 660. Conscripts, 433. Jesus H. Christ. This is what I mean about defending. We can defend Prague until the cows come home. They're going to have to commit so many troops... Although we may have to start mass recruiting again. Because the... it's on. So the armies we've got fighting Russia may have to remain there. Remain so. Rather than well, rather than expanding our numbers to attack them, we may end up having to I mean ultimately I could try and get peace with Prussia again after a big loss like that the ai can be quite amenable to peace negotiations typically they need to lose troops they need to, well, they, typically they need to lose um cities for them to be more open to peace otherwise they typically tend to Ignore peace. So you guys are going to go and do raiding stuff. That is absolutely fine. I do not mind that. So these two units of 14 troops. Pull out. To be switched. Same with this number of 81 troops. Although I could should actually combine them with... other infantry units just to top their numbers up 
a few spaces for definitely take the bugged infantry unit. Altri ordini in attesa di ordini. So you yourself, Prague, are going to recruit. Just recruit another batch of line. You are ready. If they advance towards Breslau, we will force them to do battle against us, because that will tie up a bunch of... Um, that could draw in this Polish army as well. They have no artillery, so they won't make a breach. You have a 24-pounder horse guard artillery, so you will make a breach. Ernesto Arimimiena. I mean, I've butchered the pronunciation of that for sure, but... Three units of guns. Recruit. Some Albanian warband, because they're recruited elsewhere. It's five units. Five. You could probably do with some cool infantry. Swiss grenadiers. Unit of marines. Line infantry guards. And that'll be you up to full strength. This army here, you're not really needed to protect Venice. We can grow the garrison at Venice if we want to do anything with them. Although, hop in, hop out, push around. Recruit some howitzers to help protect Venice. And add in a few more conscripts. 18,000. Okay, so let's see if we can get peace with Prussia. That's not bad, actually. Peace trade, give them five, five and a half grand. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Sweden's not interested in trade. That's sad, um, but it does also mean that we... Oh yeah, now we start um, focusing on Prussia or Poland. So I don't think Ost Vienna needs a huge garrison at the moment. The Chrism line, we're going to keep them, you know, protected. We need to come around and deal with you. That's for darn sure. In marcha! Avanti! Pronti! In marcha! Engage them. Um, we are going to fight it just to keep casualties down. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone.